I've always worked at libraries. I know this will sound very nerdy, but I would play hooky from high school to go to the public library. Having this at one's disposal is a reader's dream. My name is Hernan Diaz. I'm a novelist and I wrote a great part of my novel and finished it here uh, at the Coleman Center, a novel called Trust. The Coleman Fellowship is magic. A relatively small cohort of fellows share a space with their own private offices for a year and have full access to all of the collections at the New York Public Library and get to work, this was crucial to me, with curators, uh, librarians, and, and the staff in general. I usually start by editing and rewriting the work from the day before and think of the collection as a prize. It was something I, I looked forward to every morning. The New York Public Library has a collection centered on tobacco, the Aaron's Collection, and weirdly enough, my book begins in that world. It's a fortune based on tobacco, so that was one of the first things that I checked out. I also looked quite a bit at the print collection. At the time, they were setting up this wonderful exhibit about the first financial boom in the 18th century and the first big crash, which is related to my work too. Also at the print collection, I looked a lot at WPA prints produced during the Great Depression. It was a great way to get more acquainted with how New York was perceived by artists of the time. It was important to me to always look at, at primary sources. One of the wonderful things that I found too is all the marginal stuff that you think is irrelevant. An example would be ads, say, in Fortune magazine, which I read extensively. That gave me a sense, not only of little props that I ended up using in the book, but also how, let's say, women were depicted. And that comes across in a very blunt, undisguised way. An important part of the book concerns an Italian anarchist living in Brooklyn in the 20s and 30s. And what I discovered was that there has been no attempt at keeping a proper record of that moment in American history. The few things that I found were in microfilm, broken incomplete collections of certain anarchist journals. The paper that I read the most is called Il Martello, The Hammer. The process of sifting through all of these materials ended up becoming part of the book itself. So there are many scenes in the novel where we have this character, the daughter of that anarchist, sifting through the materials and finding uh, unexpected connections. And these are things that actually happened to me here at the New York Public Library. So having access to this collection enriched my work in ways that quite literally I couldn't have imagined before. And that's what the New York Public Library provided me.